So can you give us an introduction? Uh, hi everyone, uh, this is the show of Dr. Godo, or Six People Looking for the 18th Camel. Brilliant, so tell us about the play, what is it about? Uh, basically, Dr. Godo is about to play a set in a mental hospital and five patients all find themselves as playwrights and they have some debating and play for discussion with that. And is this your cast? Yes, they're not all of them, but most of them are here. So can you introduce who we've got in front of yeah. us? On my left hand is Brad and which is played by Ben. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Ronnie, I play Beckett. Hello. <laughs> and we have Albus who played George Bernachal. Hey. hey. And that's our title, Miguel, Dr. Gordo. Hello. Hi. So what is the audience likely to experience when they come to see this play? Well, they're basically going to see a bunch of people in Sen. Bunch of people what? In Sen. In Crazy. Sen. Crazy. Insane. Insane, yes. Yeah. Forgive uh, my pronunciation. Yeah. <laughs> so the play features many renowned playwrights. When preparing for this play, did you learn anything about the playwrights that shocked you? Um, <laughs> not a playwright. Not, I, mean, I, I, I cannot answer. Yeah. I legit cannot answer. I don't know if, this, if I wanted to. This is particularly something that shocked me, but I came across something uh, while I was doing research. Uh, and I found out that Brecht's mother had passed away when he was very young. <laughs> and I didn't know that. And I didn't know anything. He was probably effect very affected by that in his life. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was an interesting detail. How is that going to influence your performance? Ooh, I think you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> 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 I'm going to quit after this interview. Like, Zoe, I'm quit. <laughs> <laughs> So, why should someone come and see your play? I mean, first of all, I think it's like one on one on one on art, philosophy, political movements in Europe and uh, in the past century. You get a you get a lot of information on theater, but also on like how how was the human being perceived in the in the in the late century. Mm. And, and I think this performance actually offers as well an uh, audience to be kind of mindfully be be uh, be part of the performance itself because they are, I'm not afraid to say that uh, yeah they have to be if they want to gain full experience for being from being there um, yeah they really have to put their effort in there as well and it's kind of yeah I think most important because they need to find out what's the 18th camel yeah yeah, yeah. because yeah. we have Dr. Gordo <laughs> and we don't have camel here. Mm -hmm. But only they go to the theatre, they can see the camels. What one thing would you want the audience to take away from this play? One thing? I, um, I, think I, I would say uh, passion for theatre. Is it a camel too big for them? I would to say it back home? in order to engage your critical thinking. Because mm. it is a play that deals with a lot of very abstract and quite heavy themes, but at the same time it relates to themes that are very much um, trending in today, and they're quite important mm -hmm. political, politi in a political sense, but also in a philosophical sense, in a human sense, and empathy as well. <laughs> and I think it, what it does really, really well is that it opens these the this themes, and it creates this opportunity not only for the audience, but also for us as actors being in it to really see the journey of these characters because we can all, all of us relate to them and, and how their journeys and all ended up in this place. Which I think it's really important, especially in theatre, because it provides a place and time to really think and to just enjoy yourself. And that's the best kind of entertainment. It's the one that stays with you and remains with you uh, after you leave. And I would say probably one thing that is important for me is that you can you can decide what you are, what you be, how you define yourself as a as a person, as a theatre artist, but also as a, like in your personal life. You can you have fully the power on yourself. You just have to figure out how to use it. Mm -hmm. So touching.
<laughs> and, and finally, can you describe the play in one word? Oh, come on! <laughs> what? No. Complexity. Shades. Um, it's not one word, but uh, it's kind of if I can put a small line in, in between to kind of make them one word. Self aware, uh, self awareness, kind of and push them together. Mm -hmm. That'll be yeah. Theatrical. <laughs> and that was it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.